Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Blajimir and today I'm going to show you the supply train network. Have you ever struggled to set up and maintain distant outposts? Or do you build endless lines of roboports because you hate setting up trains that deliver stuff like uh, turrets, repair packs, mining drills and the like? Sometimes I had the feeling I was running around way too much and could not focus on important tasks because things break, sometimes you forget to take some items with you or you are generally so short on stuff. Let me present the ultimate solution to you. What you see here is the supply hub. Every construction can be found around the train. Right now an outpost has requested ammo and repair packs which you can see on the right panel. When the train has all the items needed, it will depart and visit the requesting outpost. Once the train arrives, the purple inserters will grab all items requested by the outpost. Additionally, any junk items from the outpost will be loaded into the train and it will bring them back to the supply hub. I also put these four lights to indicate if an outpost is active or not. You basically need only two combinators to use this. The three combinators you see here are acting like the inventory of the outpost. You can set as many items as you want. The train will deliver anything as long as there is enough space. This makes building outposts so much easier as you no longer need to carry anything around with you. You will need either the green or red wire to connect every outpost to your supply hub. I choose the green one for logistics purposes because the red one is defensive related and I will cover it in another video. Once the train comes back it will go into the queue where it will wait until it is needed again. You don't need to have the loading and unloading parts in one station because uh, you can also make two separate ones. I made it into one because reasons. You can have a very minimalistic approach to the supply train. You will need more combinators if you want to load multiple chests at once and obviously you will also need more if you combine loading and unloading. There are five trains ready to go once they are needed. Usually only one train will drive around and supply your bases with repair packs and ammo. But if you are building an outpost or there is a big attack then more trains will be dispatched to speed things up. It depends on how many items are requested by all the outposts at any given time. This is how the train schedule looks. The green signal provides a value from the outposts. It is used to count how many items are needed and how many outposts are active. This train will drive as soon as at least one item is requested from one outpost. If the value is higher, other trains may join the loop. Of course I prepared an example for you so it is easier to understand. The system consists of three different stations. The loader, the unloader and the outpost. Your train starts in the unloader. As soon as an outpost has requested an item, the train will receive the go signal. It will then go to the load station and bots will deliver every item needed. The contents of the train will be deducted from the outpost, so the requester chest will not request excessive items. As a minimum for the station to work, you need two combinators. The arithmetic combinators turns the train contents into negative values. The constant combinator here will then output all negative values until all items needed are inside the train. This is to prevent the requester chest from requesting items that are already inside the train. Once the train has loaded the desired items, it will drive to the next outpost. You put the items you need into the constant combinator. Make sure that the output value is negative. This is needed because the contents of the actual storage will be deducted by these values and only if these values are positive, the outpost will request additional items. The first decider combinator is also responsible to control which items the inserters will take and which not. The second decider turns every signal into one output signal. 
this will help us to see how many types of items are requested as once and how many outposts are requesting it. It is also responsible for the train to start its loop as we have seen earlier. If the outpost does not need any items, it will shut down the train station so no train will waste time by stopping by. Okay, let's put some belts in here and see how it works. As you can see, the train immediately started and it is now waiting to be loaded. I set it to wait for 30 seconds because I don't have my storage system nearby. If you plan to build this, I suggest that you build it next to your storage to reduce your waiting time. The train arrived and the inserter took everything the outpost requested. Additionally, the station has been turned off as there are no longer any item requests. All leftover items will be unloaded after the train has finished the loop. Of course, I will include the blueprints into this description so you can try it out. Okay, that was it with my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I would be very very happy if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Your support means very much to me. Thanks and see you next time.